What's going on, Bucks? The Premier League had some very interesting matches this week. Liverpool destroying United at Old Trafford, Holland collecting his second hat trick in a row, and Crystal Palace breaking a 13-game losing streak against Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. Nothing was more interesting, however, than what happened at Goodison Park. Unless you were a fan of Bournemouth or Everton, this was most likely not the game you had on your TV set. But if you did watch, you got to see one of the greatest comebacks in Premier League history. Let's take a look at how the Cherries shocked the Toffees at home. To start, it's worth noting that incredible comebacks are nothing new to this Bournemouth club. Last season, Bournemouth staged an incredible comeback to defeat Luton 4-3 after trailing 3-0 at halftime. Luton seemed to be in control with goals from Chong, Ogbené, and Barkley, giving them a commanding lead at the break. However, Bournemouth mounted a spectacular second half resurgence, becoming only the third club in Premier League history to overturn a three-goal halftime deficit. Dominic Solanke ignited the comeback in the 50th minute, followed by Ilya Zabarni's header in the 62nd minute. Antoine Semenyo then took center stage, equalizing just two minutes later and sealing the remarkable victory with the winning goal in the 83rd minute. This extraordinary turnaround, completed in just 33 minutes of play, showcased Bournemouth's resilience and attacking prowess. The match will be remembered as one of the most dramatic comebacks in Premier League history. While that comeback was amazing, and almost never done before, the comeback Bournemouth had this past weekend in Goodison Park had never been done before. Everton ended a run of poor home form with a resounding 3-0 victory over Bournemouth. A year later, the same fixture carried high stakes, as both teams sought a much-needed boost. Bournemouth arrived at Goodison Park following two lackluster Everton League performances, though a midweek Carabao Cup win had injected some optimism into the hosts. The close of the transfer window saw Everton strengthen with the arrivals of Tim Irogbenum, Jesper Lindstrom, Illiman Ndiaye, and Orel Mangala, raising expectations further. Historically, Everton had dominated this fixture, winning six of seven home meetings against Bournemouth in the Premier League. However, football is never predictable, and Bournemouth was ready to test that record. When play got underway, both sides pushed for control, with Everton's high press forcing Bournemouth onto the back foot early. Jack Harrison was lively on the right, while Ndiaye, playing just behind Calvert-Lewin, created problems for the Bournemouth defense. Despite Everton's dominant start, Bournemouth remained resilient, largely thanks to Kepa, who made a series of key saves. Everton came close to breaking the deadlock on several occasions, but Bournemouth's defense held firm as the game remained goalless at halftime. The breakthrough came early in the second half when Michael Keane slotted the ball into the corner from a scramble in the box, giving Everton a deserved lead. They soon doubled their advantage when Calvert-Lewin chipped Kepa after some smart interplay with Dwight McNeil. At 2-0, the hosts looked to be cruising toward a comfortable victory, and to be honest, it could have been 4-0. However, the match took a sudden and dramatic turn in the 87th minute when Bournemouth's Antoine Semenyo slid in to poke the ball past Jordan Pickford, igniting the comeback. Everton, who had been in control for most of the game, seemed to unravel as Bournemouth began to push for an equalizer. Just minutes later, Lewis Cook scored his first ever Premier League goal, leveling the match with a well-placed header. The momentum had completely shifted, and with Everton rattled, Bournemouth capitalized again in stoppage time. Luis Sinistera rose highest to meet a cross, heading past a helpless Pickford to complete a stunning turnaround. In the span of just a few minutes, Bournemouth had come from two goals down to win 3-2, leaving Goodison Park in shock. This was a perfect example of unpredictability that makes football so exciting. Bournemouth, who had barely troubled Everton's defense for 80 plus minutes, pulled off one of the most remarkable comebacks in recent memory. The game highlighted both Everton's frailty in game management and Bournemouth's never say die attitude. 
In the end, I was so impressed with the multiple comebacks from Bournemouth that it got me thinking. Is this the greatest Premier League comeback of all time? Three goals in nine minutes at a tough away crowd to upset a club who was in complete control? I can't think of anything like it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching.